What is up guys and girls? This is Josh from GameTouch bringing you a tutorial video on how to properly get XSplit going and set up a RTMP server to start streaming on our Twitch channel. Um, what you're first going to want to do is open up XSplit, which I already have opened. Click Broadcast, Edit Channels, Add, Custom RTMP, Name, you can put anything you'd like. I'm going to put Test, Description, also anything you'd like, just to identify you know what what channel it is because you may have multiple um, RTMP URL this is gonna be the URL that allows you to connect to the twitch servers um, you're gonna wanna go to the link in the description below and it's gonna be on a forums area you're gonna wanna copy the RTMP link that is closest to you Ashburn Virginia is closest to me it's only a state away I'm gonna copy this one I'm going to paste it inside the RTMP URL area. And that's it for that. Stream names, you're going to. This is the token that I send to you in a message if you're approved for our Twitch channel. You're going to paste that in there. Share link, leave that blank. Um, user agent is going to be XSplit. Video encoding and audio encoding, these are going to depend on how good of a connection that you have and how good your CPU is. Mainly, you're just going to want to mess around with these and see what the best quality is for you because uh, everyone's different. Um, I can't exactly tell you what to choose on this. Um, you can leave this blank and leave audio and video into one RTMP channel. Automatically record broadcast. This is up to you. This records everything that you're streaming directly to your computer and hard drive. So I usually uncheck that because I don't really need it. And that's about it. Um, that's how you properly set up an RTMP server to get streaming on the Game Touch Twitch channel. I hope this helped. And if you have any suggestions on any other videos, let me know. And I'll gladly get around to them. Thanks.